Well, it seems to be the most um, disturbing uh, implication of the idea that truth is a person is that truth comes with a body, that truth is embodied. Uh, and this wars against uh, a major stream of Western thought, which sees truth as an abstraction from the embodied world or as something that sort of floats free of bodies, of place, of time. But the idea that truth actually can't be fully known unless it's known in an embodied person, who indeed not only was embodied during the time of his, his life on earth, but was raised with a body. That is a scandalous idea for, for most of human philosophy. So what do we make of that? Well, it also implies that, that truth requires relationship because bodies don't come into being without intimate relationships without love uh, and the expression, the embodied expression of love. Without that, you don't have a body. So can it be that truth is much more intimately linked uh, with embodiment, with love, than we have tended to think? Uh, it seems to me that's what it means to say that Jesus, this particular man, Yeshua, uh, son of Yosef and Miriam, uh, at least as was thought, son of Yosef, that that embodied person is the truth. 